You can quickly and easily move your Moodle courses into Brightspace. First step, go into Moodle. You want to find the course you want to back up and click on it. Once you're in the course, on the left hand side, underneath Course Administration, you'll see an option for backup. Choose this. For the most part, you want to leave these settings defaulted. Scroll down and click Next. Now for most courses, you may see X's across user data. If for any reason you don't, make sure you click None. Scroll down and click Next. This is going to give you a summary of what you're backing up. Scroll down and click Perform Backup. Now this step may take a little bit longer depending on the size of your course. Choose Continue. And now we want to pull our Moodle backup out of Moodle. It's essentially taking the moving boxes and moving them into the moving truck. If you scroll down here, you'll see a list of all the Moodle backups you've ever made. You want to find the one that's dated and timed for the one you just made. Click Download, and this will download that backup file to your computer. So now we can close down Moodle. The next step is to go on your computer into your Downloads folder. Now this may look a little bit different on a Mac and a PC, but the idea is going to be the same. I'm going to find my Downloads folder, find your Moodle backup file. Now you may have a lot of stuff in your Downloads folder. You want to look for the backup file labeled backup-moodle, and you'll see your course name right inside there. The next step is to do a slow double click. Don't do a fast double click, but a slow double click. So I'm going to click, click. This will allow me to rename the file. Now I want to rename the extension of this, or the last three letters. So right now is .mbz for Moodle Backup Zip. I'm going to get rid of the mbz and type in .zip for zip. Hit enter. It's going to ask you if you want to use the .mbz or the .zip. I want to use the .zip, and this will convert the file to make it readable by Brightspace. So now our bags are packed. They're in the moving truck. Let's move them into the new house. So I'm going to go into Brightspace, find the course you want to move them into. For training purposes, I'm going to use my sandbox, but you want to use whatever course that you're going to be moving this into. Choose Course Admin. This is behind the scenes of your course. And you want to look for the words Import, Export, Copy Components. Now, depending on how you'll have this laid out, you may see this organized by name, in which case you'll see it here, or category, in which case you'll see it here. You have a lot of different options. Scroll down and choose Import Components. You have two different options. The defaulted one from a course package is the one you want to choose. Click Start. And now it's going to ask you to find those moving boxes, find that Moodle backup file. Click Upload. There's my Moodle backup file. If for any reason I wasn't in Downloads, you want to find your Downloads folder and then navigate to your backup file. Click Once and then Choose. Import all components if you want to bring the entire course in, or Advanced Options will let you pick and choose what to bring in. Because I can delete afterward, I'm going to bring everything in. This step may take a few moments. You're just going to upload your files, convert them, and put them into Brightspace. Once your course is done being imported, click View Content to go to your course. This is now going to show you your imported content. Now, in moving things from Moodle to Brightspace, there may be a few compatibility issues. You want to pay attention to your discussion boards, your gradebook, and any Moodle labels that you may have had, as these may have a few things that you need to change. For example, you may see if you didn't have a title on your imported Moodle module, you'll see its imported topic. You can change this by clicking on it once, going up to the top of the module, and clicking at the top here and adjusting it. Now if it has no content like this one, you can click the caret next to the title and choose Delete Module. For more information about deleting or editing your content, please check out some of our other Brightspace Jumpstart videos.